Praise the Lord. We give God all the glory. Our Lord and our God, we exalt you for your faithfulness. We thank you for the gift of another beautiful week. And we pray that may your name alone be exalted in Jesus' mighty name. We pray that you lead us through your word and help us understand you better. We pray that your word will be our strength, will be our authority wherever we go. In Jesus' mighty name, hallelujah. Brethren in the Lord, I welcome you to the program, How Do You Understand the Word of God? We thank God so much that today too we have live. We'll take our devotional reading from Isaiah chapter 49, the verses 1 to 4. The heading says, The Lord's servant commissioned. Let's hear the word of God. Listen to me, all you in distant lands. Pay attention, you who are far away. The Lord called me before my birth. From within the womb, he called me by name. He made my words of judgment as sharp as a sword. He has hidden me in the shadow of his hand. I'm like a sharp arrow in his quiver. He said to me, you are my servant Israel, and you will bring me glory. I implied, I replied, but my work seems to, my work seems so useless. I have spent my strength for nothing and to no purpose. Yet I leave it all in the Lord's hand. I will trust God for my reward. Hallelujah. And so brethren in the Lord, we see here that, the book of Isaiah chapter 49 describes the time when the Jewish exiles were in a hopeless situation in Babylon. Their future seemed very dark with no hope of returning to their homeland. And so Isaiah prophesied that God will intervene in, 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 in the way that he wants to and that he will lead them to return to their own land. Hallelujah. Isaiah described a servant through whom God will fulfill his promises to Israel. So what is most striking in Isaiah's prophecy is this: the servant Jesus will not only restore Israel, but also the Gentiles. This was the fulfillment of God's promise to Abraham that all the families of the earth will be blessed through you. Hallelujah. So we quote this from Genesis chapter 12, verse 3. When God promised Abraham that all the families of the earth will be blessed through him. And now we can also boldly say that the blessings of Abraham is ours. But we should look at one thing here that Abraham remained faithful unto the Lord. So the Lord called him his friend. Hallelujah. And so thinking about a, a re considering it can god call us his friends can he call us his friends once you are a child of god and you have accepted jesus christ to be your lord and personal savior it means you've given him the opportunity the, the chance to have his way in your life so whatever you are holding on still holding on even after surrendering your life unto the lord today the lord is saying that he will bring us back to where we belong so anywhere the enemy has dragged someone to, anywhere the enemy has brought temptations to subdue, subdue the person, the Bible says that no temptation that is more than us or no temptation will overwhelm us. God will give the way where we have to go through. And definitely, if he permits the devil, it means that he's ready to see us through. So God wants to take us back unto himself. Let us not lie in our temptation or fall into temptation, but we should rather ask the Holy Spirit to help us to come out of temptation so that we can fulfill our God-given promises. Hallelujah. Let us stand firm for the Lord so that even as we are enjoying uh, the blessings of Abraham, people will also enjoy the blessings that we also attain from the Lord. And so the Lord had called me from the womb, from the bowels of my mother, had he made mention of my name. So God knows you. He knew you before you were born. And so whatever 
you are going through in whatever situation that you are god knows all about it so surrender it all unto him and he will take care of you he wants to walk with you he wants to have an intimacy with you god bless you even as you submit to him we pray that you share the word today too in jesus name amen